it here is 0.4 minus 3 and bit, well actually the first thing I'm going to do is draw a sketch of this and roughly keep them to scale uh, so 4 minus 3 is so 4 cross 3 down about there that's A and then include its coordinates there as well and B goes minus 1 9 all the way up here so that's B and that's minus 1 9 okay calculate the length of AB that obviously I'm going to draw the line AB in there you could use the formula but I'm going to actually use my diagram because I prefer and I trust my diagram more so the X coordinate has gone from minus 1 all the way across to 4 so that distance is 5 and this one's gone 9 down here and then it's got to go 3 more down so that'll be 12 so the length of AB equals the square root of 12 squared plus 5 squared, which equals square root 144 plus 25 is 169. That equals 13. So that's the first bit. Part 2, that's 1, part 1. Part 2, the, the midpoint of AB, or well, the midpoint well, is roughly there. And it will be it's got to go two and a half across from there so it's got to go from minus one and then it's got to go two and a half so it'll be minus one so it'll be one and a half and how far up is it where well, it's got to go six down from b so that's nine it's got to go six down from x is half 12 so that'll be three like that you could of course worked out the average of the x's so you could have done minus one plus 4 over 2 and the average of the y's 9 minus 3 over 2 and done it like that but again I prefer to use my diagram uh, and it just said find it two marks find the equation of the line through 1 3 well it's 1 and a half 3 so 1 3 is there which is parallel to a b okay and giving you answer form so it's parallel to a b so it's part 3 parallel to a b so that means the same gradient uh, so gradient of a b equals change in y over change in x which equals it's, well, it's gone down 12 so it's negative 12 over how far across 5 so now i know it's going to be y equals minus 12 over 5 x plus c and having found the gradient, I now need to find C by subbing or substituting uh, any point on that line. And they've told me the point is 1, 3. So 1, 3. I know I often mess up when I substitute these things. So the first one's the X, and the second one's Y. I always write that down. So Y, that's 3, equals minus 12 over 5 times X, which is 1, plus C. And so that will give me that 3 equals minus 12 over 5 plus C. So C equals 3 plus 2 and 2 fifths. So that's 5 and 2 fifths. And so that will give me that Y equals minus 12 over 5 X plus 5 and 2 fifths. It wants it in terms where A, B, C and integers. So I'm going to have to times everything through by 5, which gives me 5y equals minus 12x plus 5 5 is 25, plus 5 lots of 2 fifths will be 2, so that would be 27. And now I've got to put it all on one side, add 12x, so 12x plus 5y, take away 27, equals 0. They're all integers, it is in the right form, so that's the question done.